doing everybody it's Luis your trainer so for everyone that has signed up for my community training program it is everything that I follow and every month we have a new training so for the month of August this is what we're going to be following all right it's a very holistic view very uh, for everyone that wants to build strength athleticism speed and endurance right it's not just so our muscles can look good but there's a purpose behind everything, right? So here, we, here we're gonna go. So as you can see, on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we're gonna be doing metabolic conditioning. That means that we are going to be conditioning ourselves while also lifting some weights, right? So it's not just like sprints. Um, so for 20 minutes straight, right, we're gonna be doing different exercises. So here are the major movements that we're going to be doing, right, during these 20 minutes of intense, like just lifting. Um, these days are actually going to have four exercises, but I just listed out the major movements that we're going to be doing. So on Monday, right, we're going to do pull. We're going to do pull like this and pull like that, right? That's already two exercises. So we're going to be focusing on our back muscles, the hip hinge, which is going to focus on our glutes and our hamstrings, and then the squat, uh, which is going to be our calves and our quads, right? Now Wednesday, we're now we're gonna be doing push muscles, right? So that means instead of pulling, right, we're gonna be pushing. Here goes our upper body. We're gonna do the lunge, and then we're gonna do a rotation, right? Lunge, again, to do a single leg activity to build our leg strength, and then rotation, right? For our torso and our obliques and our abs. On Thursday, we're gonna be doing lunges again, and then we're gonna be focusing on our pull muscles, all right? So as you can see, Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we're gonna be doing the metabolic conditioning of four major exercises are gonna work multiple muscles at once for 20 minutes straight. Okay, then as you can see, the way that they're laid out, part two of the workout is gonna consist of isolations. And these isolations are so that we can build a little bit more strength without having to, you know, have shorter rest. Over here, we're gonna have a little bit longer rest and we can focus a little bit more on putting up numbers as opposed to trying to do as many reps as possible. So as you can see, on Monday, we're doing our pull, hip hinging, and squats for the conditioning aspect. But then for the strength training, we're gonna be doing our pushing, right? So we're gonna focus on the push muscles, right? And our core. So now we have a full body workout, right? For both our upper body, the pushing and pulling, and then our legs. Wednesday, or for our isolations, we're gonna do a little bit more arm work, you know, something for the aesthetics. So it's gonna be our biceps and our triceps we're still gonna incorporate some core work. Then on Thursday, we're gonna do our strength training now for our pull muscles, right? Because we already did the push muscles on Monday. On Thursday, we're gonna do it for our pull muscles, right? We're gonna be lifting a little bit heavier. And also, of course, core. Now, so for three days out of the week, we're doing full body. Okay? Now, on Tuesdays, we're gonna be working hills. All right, and that means we're gonna focus on our legs. And the reason why we're focusing on hills is that when you're working hills, it's gonna be high intensity, right? And we're not lifting weights, right? It's just about the intensity, right? Short bursts uh, and shorter rest. And that helps build your muscular endurance and it helps build speed, which is then gonna affect our endurance run on Saturdays. So on Saturdays, we just wanna go for mileage and time. Okay, and that's also gonna work out on our legs. So it's two different ways of tackling our speed, right? For the endurance, it's a little bit more cardiovascular. You know, we wanna keep a steady pace. Um, but the impact of the ground, right? Every time you're stepping and you're doing, you know, your strides, is still working on your legs, right? And then with the hills, it's a little bit more sprints, right? You gotta be a little bit more faster. So now we're, essentially we're hitting legs, one, two, three, four, five times out of the week, right? And that's why like for a lot of our strength training, we're not incorporating legs because we already, we're focusing on legs on both Tuesday and then on Saturday. Um, and we got the endurance work once a week. So there you have it folks. That is gonna be our training for the month of August. And again, the focus is to not only build you know, our muscular endurance and then build our, our strength, 
you know, we also want to be able to build that speed to back it up. And another thing to note is a lot of these exercises, right, even though we're doing like upper body movements, we're still going to be training on our feet because by training on our feet, we're going to be able to engage our core more, right, which is going to help us build our posture. And by us standing and training on our feet, we're able to drive the force from the ground and push the weight up. Um, so again, this is the training for August, uh, and then in September we're gonna change it up, but it's still gonna follow like major movements. Now it may not be the exact same structure, but we're gonna see very similar, um, I guess, layouts. And if you got any questions, please feel free to reach out. If you need help coming up with your own training routine, let me know. Um, and if you're just interested in following what I'm doing, we got an app where you'll be able to just log in and you'll be able to get the workout for the day and you can track your numbers. Again, everything that you do on the community training app is, is the exact same thing that I do. So I'm not going to tell you to do anything that I won't do. All right. So everyone enjoy the rest of your day and let me know how I can help.